All right, guys, it's your boy, New Teddy Aaron. I'm coming at you with a deck profile of my Paleozoic Frogs. I just wanted to get this deck profile out here to you guys because I've been getting a lot of success with this deck. And um, I just hope you guys enjoyed. All right, so three Swap Frogs, three Dupe. This is all self-explanatory. Um, two Rodin. That's the main frog engine. Everybody plays that number. Um, two statues. Um, I did have it at three, but I took out the third one for a Gamma Seal. I really like Gamma Seal. Um, there was a lot of plays that I needed a Kaiju, and being able to know that is in my deck, um, it opens up plays for me. Um, three Carter Demise. Um, I wasn't, I really didn't like this card before, but, um, I know it kind of contradicts with one Gamma Seal, but there's a lot of times that you won't draw the gamma seal but there's sometimes that it does but this is really just to get you more traps to make sure you protect your monsters a little bit that you have two pot of desires it was three but i was banishing too much um seeing a pot of desire with a pot of desire was really bad monster reborn and regeki uh yeah that's those are self-explanatory um three of course candina Ornoides, Dynamiscus, Linchila. <laughs> um, that's my ratio. This card, uh, I was I was playing it at three, but I was seeing it, it was dead more than nine times out of ten. So I feel like right now this is the perfect number for for the Peleos. One compulse, three storming mirror force. These were regular mirror force, and then these were quaking. These were blazings. Storming was the best option for me. Um, you guys could try it. These are like fluctuation cards. One compose because it gets rid of all link monsters. If you get rid of their link monsters, they have no more link zone. So it really hurts a player. Uh, three lost world, lost wind, lost world. Oh, oh my god. Um, three lost wind. I feel like this card is really good right now because you need link monsters, and a lot of the link monsters are really powerful. So being able to set this off of it or activating it on a link monster, it really hurts them. Um, Torrental, Imperial Order, Bottomless, and two Floodgate Trap Hole. Um, I was playing three Floodgate, but sometimes just setting their monsters, it was problematic for me. So I played one Bottomless. I might put three Bottomless, but as of right now, this ratio I really like. And the Torrental... Um, I was going to play three, but you cannot activate a Paleozoic monster under Torrental as a chain because the Paleozoic will die. So, yeah. And Imperial Order, it's really good. I usually side it out depending on my matchups, but yeah. And then I played a Solemn Brigade. I don't know why Konami brought this back. And don't worry, I'm getting my secret. This it's ugly. I'm just waiting for it to get here. Um... Yeah, that's that. It's 42 cards if I'm... Yeah, 42. So on to the side deck. I mean, the extra deck. Extra deck, three. Totally awesome, of course. One, two, open Venia. Um, I bumped it up to two. Was playing one and one, but two I felt like was the best number. MVP of the extra deck other than totally awesome. Um, If you guys don't know what this does, um, it puts the monster to zero and it negates their effect. So you can... Hit him for a lot of life for that. Sky Cavalier and Digusto Phoenix. I feel like those are all mandatory. On to the links. One Proxy. One Mrs. Radiant. I know you guys are like, what Mrs. Radiant? But I'll show you my side deck why I play Mrs. Radiant. Um, Two Miss Starboy. One Underclock Taker. And one Deco Talker. So... That's the extra deck. Now I'm going to go to the side. Go real quick. One Gamma Seal. Um, the third Barrier Statue. This is why I play Mrs. Radiant. This is just to open up Link Plays. Because um, still making a Mrs. Radiant and a Totally Awesome is still pretty good. Dark Hole. Two Twin Twister. Two Heavy Storm Duster. I know you guys are like, why are you not playing just more of these? This is um, literally because I could combo off with this. So that's why I play it. 
three anti spell and three MVPs of the side is uh dimensional barrier. I want to put this in the main, but um I just side out certain things like the gamma C gamma seal and things like that when I'm going second. I want to see, you know, traps. I mean, when I'm going first, you know, I side out stuff like that because I want to see traps. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you think about the quality. I got a new camera trying it out. Um, so, yeah, remember, it's Team Hit'em and history is what we're making. Peace.